Hello friends, I'm Mrs. Erbach and this is Charlie. Can you say hello to Charlie? <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Do you see what's on the wall behind me? What is that made up of all those many different fabrics? A quilt. And do you know the name of that quilt? That quilt is called Tumblers for Andy. What do you think the name of that quilt tells us about it? It might tell us who it belongs to. Tumblers for Andy. Who do you think that quilt belongs to? Maybe someone named Andy. If you guessed that, you were right. How about that word tumblers? What if I held this up and told you that this cup is also known as a tumbler when it's this kind of shape? So look at the cup, look at the tumbler, and then look at the quilt and the shapes in the quilt. Can you see where it looks like a bunch of tumblers? Sometimes I like to look at that quilt and imagine what tumbler I would be in the mood to put my drink in. So if you were going to get something to drink right now and you got to choose any of those tumblers or cups from the quilt and pull it out and turn it into a real cup, which one would you choose? Did you make your choice? Which one was it? I like that one too. Today, we've got the third letter of the alphabet to talk about. Do you know which one's the third letter of the alphabet? A, B, and today is, I think you probably guessed it, C. There's a big C. It's not the best little C. There's a little C. And what sound does C make? K, yes. C is a fun one to make with your body and not too difficult either. You can just use your arms or you can get up and use your whole body. Go ahead and make a C with your body. And while you're at it, go ahead and make the sound C makes. K, good job. I'm proud of you for trying. Let's put our C up on the quilt behind me. It's time to pull out the I Spy quilt. Let's play I Spy. I Spy, ooh, with my little eye, something that begins with the letter C, and it's something you ride in. Can you see what that is? A car, car starts with C. What else do we have here? Ooh, something yummy. I spy with my little eye. Something that begins with the letter C that you might eat at a birthday party. Cupcake, cupcake. You can hear two C's in that word. And I think there was one more that I saw. Oh yes, yeah, something else you eat, but it's healthier than a cupcake. I spy with my little eye something orange that you eat. Carrot. Good. Carrot starts with C. Will you sing your ABCs with me? Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Thank you. Well, our story today begins with the letter C. And this story is about a little bear that you might be familiar with, or maybe you're meeting him for the first time today. This bear's name is Corduroy by Don Freeman. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. 
Have you ever thought about the toys at the store? Especially the dolls and stuffed animals and how they might just be waiting for someone special to take them home? The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then, one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Can you see the broken shoulder strap on here? Poor Corduroy. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I had lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy carefully climbed down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. What did he step on, do you think that is? Have you ever been on one of those? Let's see what it's called. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. That would be surprising if you'd never been on an escalator. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor and there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Did he find himself in a palace? Oh, well, it's possible that he's in the furniture department but I think I would think it was a palace too with all that furniture. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. Because where did he sleep before? Right, he was always sleeping on the shelf. He's never had a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up, but like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was sewn down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop, off came the button. And off the mattress corduroy toppled, bang into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. <gasps> Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now, who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. Do you think Corduroy is going to get in trouble? Let's find out. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Who's that? Right, it's Corduroy. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? Like most grown-ups, he didn't know that when nobody was looking, Corduroy could explore. The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator. 
and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Yay for Corduroy and Lisa. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no thank you, Lisa answered. And she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be a home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. The end. Isn't that a nice story? I'm always so happy for Corduroy that he found a home and a friend at the end. Speaking of friends, the first song I want to sing today is a perfect song to sing for a special friend. And I'm going to sing it to two special friends. The first special friend I'm going to sing to is you. And can you guess who the other special friend is I'm going to sing to? Maybe someone who's been right behind me? Right! Charlie! So, I would encourage you right now to get a special friend. It might be the person you're sitting with as you watch this, or perhaps you have a special friend like Charlie who is nearby. So go ahead and go get that special friend. We'll just wait for a moment while you do that. Go ahead, go get your special friend. We'll hum. Do, 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 Are you back? Good. All right, this song is called Close to You. So snuggle up close next to your special friends. I've got Charlie and I've got you. Close, do you hear the C in the title? Good. All right, let's begin. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Why do stars fall down from the sky every time you walk by? Just like me, they long to be close to you. On the day that you were born, the angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. So they sprinkled moon dust in your hair and golden starlight in your eyes of blue or brown or green or hazel. That is why all the folks in town follow you all around. Just like me, they long to be close to you. Isn't that a nice song to sing to someone special? Thank you, Charlie, for letting me sing to you. And thank you for letting me sing to you. 
I have one more song I'd like to sing. This song also has C's in the title. Can you hear them? Castle on a cloud. Which two words start with C? Castle, right, and cloud. Well done, you listened well. So this song is about a happy imaginary place. So listen and see if you agree that this sounds like a nice place to visit. There is a castle on a cloud. I like to go there in my sleep. Aren't any floors for me to sweep? Not in my castle on a cloud. There is a room that's full of toys. There are a hundred boys and girls. Nobody shouts or talks too loud. Not in my castle on a cloud. There is a lady all in white, holds me and sings a lullaby. She's nice to see and she's soft to touch. She says, my dear, I love you very much. I know a place where no one's lost. I know a place where no one cries. Crying at all is not allowed, not in my castle on a cloud. Well, that's all we have today. I hope as you go about the rest of your day, you will look for things that begin with the k sound. What's something white and fluffy that you might see up in the sky? Do you hear the k sound in the word cloud? So maybe you can go outside later today and look for some clouds in the sky. Well, before you go, will you hold out this arm and wrap it around yourself and hold out your other arm and wrap it around yourself and give yourself a great big hug because you are special and you are loved. Bye-bye.